Okay, guys, uh, what we're going to learn how to do today is to create a triangle in JavaScript here on Khan Academy. Remember, this is uh, just a basic drawing. So what I like to do, I like to break this triangle down into three parts, obviously three points on our triangle. So I'm going to call this top point right here x1, y1. Over here, we're going to call this x2, y2. And then over here, x3, y3. Okay. So what our, um, what our tag will be is this triangle. And put in my parentheses. So first, again, we're going to identify this x1. I'm going to call this 200 pixels in. And then uh, how far down? Uh, it's towards the top, so I'm going to call, I'm going to label this y1, about 100 pixels. So 100 pixels. There we go. Now for our X2, well, it's pretty close to the edge. You guys can see if we're here at zero, this is about 100, 200, 300, and then obviously 400. So I'm going to say we come in about uh, 100 pixels from the edge. So I'm going to call that 100. And well, uh, I'm thinking this is about midway through, so or midway down the page. So we're going to say this is about 100 pixels down. About 200 pixels down, obviously 300, all the way down to the bottom would be 400. So we're going to call this 200 pixels down. Now for our X3, all the way over here. Again, so we came in uh, 100 pixels for here. This is about 200, obviously matching up with there, that's 200. So we'll call this about 300, because we know this all the way over here to be 400. So I'm going to say X3 is going to be 300. And since I want this line to be straight across, all right, I just want to be straight across parallel, my X2, which is 200, and my Y, excuse me, my Y2 and my Y3 need to be the exact same number because I want this straight line here. So I'm going to call this 300 as well. Now, we do have a triangle there. I'm going to put a fill color on top so you could see what this looks like. And there you go. Again, how this was measured out, was x1, y1 down 100, x2 is in 100, and down 200. Our x3 came all the way over to 300, and then we came down again at 200. So again, if you break down triangles into three parts, that is very, uh, it's usually pretty easy. All right, so I'm going to show you one more example. 